Once we get the analysis data back from the solver, there are several ways to look at them. The slider bar is great to switch quickly to any step of the nonlinear simulation. Then you have the animation. You can set the speed you want and include or exclude increments from it. When some results you need are not included in the default results, automatically loaded, you can load them manually like that. When you are working a simplified half model like this boot seal, you can use the mirror to visualize the full model. It's a very useful feature to take awesome screen captures. You can also use cutting plane to visualize each cut of your model. It's very easy to set just using the drag and drop. Frequently you want to know where the maximum stresses are located inside your model and which part is probably failing. For that, you can just use the ISO surface. 